your hand, oh God, as we continue to hallelujah, lift him up, oh glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. God is good. All the time. All the time.
the name of the living God. Amen? Hallelujah! So we give God thanks. Hallelujah comes the close of another year. Oh, we have been blessed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah! And I don't know about you, but this year has done so beautifully. Hallelujah! So much has been accomplished this year. Praise be to God. And I just give God thanks because he's brought us from a mighty long way as a praising house of God. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. And I just want to encourage you, continue to praise God. Continue to serve him. Hallelujah. Continue to be a witness for him. Hallelujah. In the first book of Kings in chapter 10 from verse 1, we can read that. Hallelujah, Jesus. How the Queen of Sheba, hallelujah, she heard of the wisdom of Solomon, hallelujah. And she came as the, praise be to God, the New Testament says from the utmost part of the earth to hear this great wisdom and knowledge and understanding, hallelujah, that had been given to the King Solomon. She brought many things with her, hallelujah. And she asked him many questions and he told her all, hallelujah. And praise be to God, he blessed her with many things to take back with her. Hallelujah. But the one thing she said, hallelujah, she concluded that blessed are those that even stand in the presence of such wisdom and knowledge. Thanks of God, we are blessed. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. And the story is so profound that you can see references to it in Matthew chapter 12, verse 42, and in Luke chapter 11, verse 31. Hallelujah. Because the wisdom of God is so profound. The truth of God is such a blessing. We have been sanctified and washed by it. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, God is so good and mighty. Beautiful the situation. And he is the joy of the whole earth. And the New Testament said, even though she came from the utmost part of the earth to hear that wisdom, one greater than Solomon was there at that time. And his name is Jesus. Hallelujah. And the Bible tells us that he poured out his soul for his people. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. That you are blessed. Hallelujah. If you know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, you are blessed. Hallelujah. We sing the song, I need nothing but Jesus. Hallelujah. And it's no truer word that is spoken. Hallelujah. No matter what the trials, no matter the tribulations, whatever you're going through, hallelujah, God is with you and he will Amen. never leave nor forsake you. Amen. Amen. Praise be to God. We give God thanks for even gathering us here. Praise be to God in his name. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask hallelujah for us to all give a great encouragement, hallelujah, for our our sister and brothers and our sisters and brothers as they come up to minister to us. Please encourage Sister Charmaine, Brother Joel, Sister Pat, hallelujah, Brother Tesco and Brother Richard as they minister for us. In Jesus name. Amen.
that we're willing to lose and we're willing to give up. You know, in our Christian life, we have to lose things and we have to give things up. But the question is, are we willing to give it up and are we willing to lose it? Sometimes we're not willing, but when the trials do come, it causes you to be more willing to lose it and to give it up. You know, that's when you have to hold on to the word of believing God because there's nothing that can take you from the trial. When the doctor said no, you have to remember what the word of God said. Do what you believe for the cross of the Lord. You know, you have to stand and be confident in what the Lord has said. Stand in the word of the living God because it is sure. It is yay and amen. God said it, it is done. He declared it and it moved. He moved it, he planted it, and it grew. So whatever God said for your life, whatever your purpose is, God will set it for you. just have to stand. You just have to believe. No matter what it is, no matter the season, for every season, there is a reason. And there's a purpose to it. We may not understand everything that we're going through, but we just have to hold on to God. Trust in Jehovah, for in Jehovah is everlasting strength. Not our strength, in God there is strength. So in the time we work, sometimes our legs don't move too right. Sometimes our hands don't lift too high. But with the strength of the living God, we can move our feet with the strength of the living God. We can lift our hands in God and say, God, I believe that the pit, even though it may not sink, even though it may not come to me, but I know that there is a living God, and I stand ashore and let him say, and I let him have his words continue to push me no matter what. You are going through. And I'm going to sing this song today. You will know the song, The Spirit of God. Go ahead, please join me as we sing this song. Bless the saints of Jesus' name.
name of Jesus. We're not hearing pretty songs um, only since this evening we've um, been blessed with songs delivered. These are songs that a word spoken, sung, and you know, as you're listening and Listen to the Lord and receive the joy. Know that there will be times when you need to encourage yourself, as has just been sung, greater is He that is in you than He that is in the world. There will be times when people try to present themselves greater than our God. <laughs> How dare they? <laughs> but they will try. And at those times, you know, we have to sing that song even to ourselves. The Spirit of God, the Spirit of God that is greater, is greater. Not as than anyone else. So, Sister Tilisca and I'm going to bless you. It's a, a very story. And I'm going to be so excited to take this opportunity really quickly just to say, if you haven't noticed or seen already, that we have the toilets um, just to the left of the door there, um, and through the double doors. Um, the toilets still on the ground, as you know, there, but there are some on this floor. As well, there are two um, fire exits in case of any such event. Um, stairs to the right, stairs to the left, and the input would be in the car park. Amen. But we won't be having any of that in Jesus' name. We want to go. Um, I'm going to ask Sister Natasha uh, and Shirley and Dante. This is not a very special answer. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hallelujah. And all the time. We bless the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, us so much hallelujah to give to every single one of us. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord is doing in the name of the Lord. Sometimes we are here to show us. Hallelujah. Hearts of praise. Hallelujah. The great innocence. Hallelujah. Goodness. The Lord is giving him great courage. Hallelujah. We continue to pray them up in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to take up the time and the offering right now to the master choir to come up. Hallelujah. And we're just going to sing in Jesus' name. God is good all the time. Good to see the young ones flourishing in Jesus' name. Amen. Good to see the uh, mature ones, encouraging the young ones as well. In Jesus' name, we're going to see more of that. These young ones coming up into the ministry. Glory to God and blessing our souls in Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to minister a song as the offering has been taken up in Jesus' name. Amen.
Oh, <laughs> 